Welcome back to another video. My name is Coach Ben. Today's video is kind of different. I'm going to be walking you through the United States Learning Center, which is their online um, platform, their online learning management system. It's going to be a complete walkthrough with uh, just a voiceover showing you guys how to navigate it in case you guys are starting your courses or if you're in it and a little bit confused, I'm gonna walk you through just some basics to get you started. There's gonna be more videos where I'm gonna break down more sectors and sections of the Learning Center just to give you guys a great tutorial and a great inside look at what you can expect when you start your own license. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Today's video, we are going to be navigating the United States Soccer Federation's learning website. This website is where you will do a majority of your work when you're in the developmental period. This is also where you your register for courses and get your general information about getting your licenses with the United States Federation. So the website you're going to go to is learning.ussoccer.com. Once you get here, you're going to be greeted, greeted with this main page where you're going to have the referee program or you're going to have the continuing education program. Obviously, I'm signed in. You can see my name right here. But if you join the first, if you go to this page for the first time, you will see a sign up page where you will be taken to this free intro course. And this is a introductory to the methodology that the United States Federation actually conducts and teaches and just it's a good introduction to, to see what it's like you're also greeted by this coaching license pathway again this is something that i've showed in my united states federation structure breakdown so you see your online courses your d license half of your c license other half of your c license b a a and pro okay so from here you can take your free intro course very very simple uh right here which represents the first step in a newly revised coaching license pathway is now the general starting point for pathways and is required prerequisites to undergo any of the soccer grassroots learning courses. Okay, that's super easy, super basic. So go back, let's go to the main menu. So from here, once we enter into the coaching education, we have these tabs at the top. We have courses, groups, resources, planning, and obviously help. Underneath courses, <clears throat> Underneath courses, you have your you have your favorite course, your courses that you're currently taking and previously taken, and available courses that you can take in the future. So if you click on favorite courses, you can see right here, these are any of the courses that you've put a little star. So for the sake of the video, we will uncheck. If we go to my courses, you can see that these are the courses that I've completed. So these are all the courses that I've taken. These are the ones that I have as my favorites. You can mark the star, have a little thing that says click to save the course as a star, star, and star. And what's really cool is you can actually open up your archive and you can actually see all of the assignments that you have submitted in case you want a refresher or you want to go back because something, you know, you needed something from that particular course. For the future courses, we're going to go to available courses. And right here, you will see a breakdown on the left side where it'll give you pro, A, A, B, C, C, D, grassroots, and then you have your in-person and you have your online. And then you have the same introductory course, which was at the beginning of the site. So for the sake of an introductory course, in order to get your grassroots license, you have to take the 11v11 in-person and 9v9 in-person, which is done through your um, hosting organization. So if you click on 11v11 course, you can see the cost is $25 and it breaks it down. It says the online course is a two hour course that builds on the principles covered in US Soccer's Introduction to Grassroots Coaching Module. That's the free course that you take. Specifically, candidates will learn more about the US Grassroots Coaching Education philosophy, the PPP, Play Practice Play, the six stacks of coach, and the characteristics of players aged 13 and older. Okay? So it's the same for all of these courses. So we can take on the, click on the D course. So you can see the D course facilitates the improvement of candidates in the six tasks of coach across all four game models, 4v4, 7v7, 9v9, 11v11, with an emphasis on coaching training session. And then it gives you your eligibility. It gives you the course structure, course meeting, developmental period, course meeting, and then the price. So when it's set by the hosting organization, for me, that is Cal South. 
Um, the price, I believe, I'll have to confirm you, was roughly between 400 and 450 I think. Um, but it's going to be different wherever your hosting organization is. Okay, so if we were to click on the course list, this is where you would go to register for any upcoming courses. You have the option to hide completed or cancel courses. So you can see right here that these are all the completed courses, closed registration. Assuming there was not a pandemic, you could actually go to 2021 and you would be able to see the future dates. But because there's no future dates right now, you're only stuck with what's happening in 2020. So we see this National D course 1718 Sacramento. So let's go to the course details. So we can see right here, this is Cal North. I'm Cal South. They charge roughly 450. They're kind of the same. So you have 425 for your course fee and then you have $25 US soccer surcharge. Then you have your general course information. So you actually have the first meeting in Sacramento, you have your developmental period, and then you have your second full meeting. This is the same for my D license. This is the same for majority of D licenses because regardless of the hosting organization, they follow the same outline that the US Federation gives them. They're just gonna have a different hosting organization, but it's gonna be the same structure. So if we go to C license, this is what I'm currently waiting for in order to get on. You have your eligibility, just like the D license, you have your course setup, which is just a general setup. And if we go to course list, we can see that we have Colorado Soccer Association. So in the C license, this is where it's not necessarily always hosted by your, ho your organization. You can actually go to any C license that you want, as long as you can get a seat. Um, you obviously would be able to get probably a better deal with your hosting organization. But we just click on this first one right here. This is the Colorado Soccer Association National Sea License 2020-2021 Blended. That's something that they've just added. Um, it used to be all in person, but now they have blended learning. So if we hop on over here, you can see the course cost. So for the 2020 Sea License, the fee is $1,600. So you can see that you have a very detailed course description, you can come down here to the course structure, which is similar to the D license. Let's just highlight this real quick. You have your field components, March 19th to the 21st of 2021. Start of the course is December 14th. You have your developmental period, pre-course webinar. Then you're looking at the course structure of what you'll be going over. You'll be looking at some topics, and then it gives you what the C license focuses on. Okay. You can see your contact information, just your, everything you would need to register for this course. Now, here's an interesting thing which you can do if you finish your D license, your C license, your grassroots. You can see right here it says, you are currently not eligible for this course. So I say, what do I need to do? And it'll have a little pop-up, which is pretty cool because it'll say, look at the following list of requirements. National D license required for at least 12 months. Well, obviously I'm over 16, but because my D license finished a few months ago, I haven't held it for the 12 months that you need in order to register for your next license. Okay. So I'm not going to go through the B license, the A license and the pro. Actually, I'll go through the pro. So you can see that the pro, they just slapped the price down right there. That's because the pro license, the A, both A's and the B are hosted by the U.S. Federation. So you can see you have your eligibility. You have your course structure, which is 12 months long. I don't think there's a list. There, there is no list because these are only a few a year. So they're very hard to get in. Um, obviously, you would have to be a part of an MLS team or NISA or USL or something, you know, right here. You have to be part of a major organization. Um, so that's enough for the courses. Once you go to your groups, this is the next part. Um, these groups right here are designed for when you're actually taking a course, your instructor can break you off into classroom areas or groups where you may have eight other candidates that you're working with. Um, the resource tab, which is really good, gives you all your player development initiatives, your session standards, your nutrition guides, um, blended course learning, equipment checklists, medical guidelines, position names. This is geared more towards the new coach that's coming in. 
Um, it's just a great resource to have. If we go to the planning, we have graphics, training exercises, training sessions, and calendars. If we click on training, I believe we have to go to graphics first. Yes. So graphics is where you will go to create all of your session plans for your assignments. In here, you have the sessions you've created. You have a group library where other candidates can submit their own sessions and you can look at them. And then you have a U.S. soccer library where it kind of gives you a breakdown of other types you can do. So, so if you go to training exercises, this is where you actually create your training session. So you just fill out this information. Um, what these are doing right here, this is if you have a bunch of exercises, then you can filter and find what you need. Um, group library, again, if we have other candidates. And then U.S. soccer library, I'm not sure why it's empty, but it's the same concept. Um, you go to training sessions. These are your actual training sessions that you've created. Um, graphics are each individual graphic. So let me just make that clear. The graphics tab right here, these are each individual graphics that you're going to use when you're developing your full training session, which is something I'll go over in a later video. But you can see my final training sessions, my topic was improve scoring goals from chances you created. I created several graphics, which I included in my final training session. That's what that is. And then you have your calendar. Um, it's just a good way to create a cycles and you can add entries, um, if, especially if you're creating something for an entire program. So with all of that said, the last bit to look at with the profile, this is everything that you're gonna be doing to interact with your courses and create your sessions. Now we have your profile. Over here in your profile, my information will be blurred out. Apologies. You have your contact details right here. You have your relationships. So your relationships are your hosting organization. Then you can do your coaching experience, your safety certifications, other qualifications. And then once you do get any license, it will appear here. So you can see all the licenses will just come into there automatically. So that is a quick overview of the United States Learning Center. If this helped you out in any way, if you do need any kind of advice or any other kind of questions you have about this site, please leave a comment down below, send an email. My email is in the description. I would love to help you guys out. I'll be making a more detailed version video going into creating your own training sessions and really getting into the courses. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. As I said in the intro and I said throughout the video, I will be making a more detailed look at some of the features that are inside the Learning Center that will really help you guys when you guys do take your courses and you are submitting your assignments during the developmental period to really give you guys a thorough breakdown of how you can succeed in your courses. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.